Hey girls, so this is a really quick video for you guys to show you um, and give you some tips of some school makeup ideas. So I know some schools will not let you wear makeup to school and even if, you know, they say they're not allowed to, some girls just um, have to like sneak through the rule a bit. Um, so this is a video to help you guys um, just with some, with some, um, I guess, what's the word? blendable, I don't know what the right word is, that um, just, it's not really too dramatic or over the top makeup looks and it's just really simple and easy and pretty um, for you to wear to school every day or just some days where you feel like wearing makeup. So this is um, really especially for you guys who aren't allowed to wear makeup to school. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, please subscribe. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to prime my face using Australasia's Primer. Um, and this prevents foundation from fading and smooths, smooths and refines skin texture and locks in moisture. So all I'm going to do is take, put a little bit here, that much, and put rub it into my fingertips. And just sort of spread it on my face evenly before I rub it in. Really concentrate on the eye area and just a little bit on my forehead and now I'm just going to be rubbing it in like this. Make sure you get it all over your face and sometimes because I'm out of, well because I don't have an eye primer currently, I just put it on my eyes, well just in my inner corners which is where I'll be putting that shadow. Okay. So once that is rubbed into your face, let that sit for about three minutes. Okay, so once your primer has set into your skin, I will be using Sports Girls Under Eye Brighter. And I think this is a really good makeup item, especially for school, because you want to look really awake and bright for school, and this helps me. So what I do is I just do a slab of this underneath, and again like this. And you take your ring finger and just stab it into your skin because you don't want to spread your bags if you have any. So just stab it in and then rub it in like that. Okay, so after that I will be taking my concealer stick. Um, this is by Savvy by Designer Brands. And I was told this is the same brand as NYX. Um, so in America this is the Australian NYX brand. So you, it just opens up like this and you roll it up like this. So this is in the colour Fair and I got this for 5 or $6 I think from just my drugstore. So I'm just going to put this on my blemishes. And normally I would put it on my bags but since I have that under eye brighter I'm going to skip that step. So you just put it on your blemishes and again rub it in with your ring finger. Okay, next I'm going to be putting on a pressed powder. You can put on a foundation before your concealer if you would like, but um, since this is like an everyday school look, um, I don't feel my skin needs to wear you know, a liquid foundation every day, so normally I don't, but if you want to, just feel free to. So I'm skipping that step and I'm putting on a pressed powder instead. So yeah, this is my pressed powder um, and it's by Savvy by Design Brand. As you can see, I have used this so much, it's not even funny. Um, so it's in the colour Translucent and so I'll just be taking my powder brush by Natio. Um, and I got this for my birthday and I really love it, it's really big and fluffy. So you open it and I'm just going to get this all over my brush, it's a bit hard to but what's left. And then I'm just going to put this on my face. And if you need to get more, just obviously you do. And I feel that this just really evens out my skin tone a lot more. So you can also put some on your neck to make it not look like your face is wearing a mask. Okay, so next, this is kind of a weird step, but I've been doing this a lot recently just because um, I've had it available. I have this clear mascara by Models Prefer Professional. Um,
Um, I don't know where I got this from, just like my local drugstore, but yeah, what I've been doing is I've just been putting this on my eyebrows and this just shapes them and keeps them in place for the day. So then you just do it to this one. Next, I put on brown bronzer on my cheekbones. Um, I don't put this all over my face because I just find I'm naturally a pale person and with bronzer all over my face, I look, I don't know, just a bit weird. So the bronzer I use is by Saturn and it's, whoa, um, it's in the colour Glow Bronze. Um, so this is my bronzer brush. Uh, I really need it. A new one. I have my eye not on this fluffy one, but I'll get that later. So I just put this here, and I always dab it onto a table just to, yeah, get it a little bit excess. And so I do fish lips and put it on my cheekbones. I just find that doing this really helps define the cheekbones a lot more. So, as you can see, because it sort of makes the face look like that. Is that weird? Um, and then I just sort of rub um, over it with my hands just to make the look not flat. So, just so it doesn't look so intense. Okay, next, um, I normally put on blush, but for some reason I've been doing that last lately, so I'll do that last again. So, um, the next, I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow, and this is in the colour Dazzle Light. And I'll just take an eyeshadow brush. Um, this is from Ella Basho. And I'm just going to be putting this colour into my inner corners. Um, I just don't think, like, putting it all over the lid looks really nice. But I think it's just too intense for school. So, and especially if you're not allowed to wear makeup at school. So I'll just be putting it in my inner corner just to make my eyes look more awake and um, open. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to take my eyelash colour and curl my eyelashes. And for mascara, I'm using the Falsies um, Volume Express by Maybelline. This is the waterproof one um, in very black, I think. Um, and if you think this mascara is too um, intense for school, as it, I guess it is meant to look like fake eyelashes, then just simply substitute this mascara for a different mascara. So I'm going to just put that on my lashes. Okay, so after I put on my mascara, I will be going to use a blush. Um, so the blush I normally use for school is by Vanity. So this is the box. And I got this for thirty dollars, and it's in the color Gelati, and it's just a really, really pretty girly color. Um, and so, if you're not a blush person, that's fine. Of course, just don't wear it if you don't want to. Um, and the tip with this blush is to barely use any at all because of how intense it is. Um, so I'm just using my brush by Nettie again, and it's a blusher brush. So the way I apply brush, black blush is just smile and then just take it up like that and this is just the personal way I do it but I just rub it in like this just put it along the cheekbone So yeah, that's a really, really pretty colour and I love it so much. And I got this just um, at my beautician that I go to, um, so obviously I can't name that, but yeah, I'm not sure really where you can find that. I think a couple of stores are opening up soon. So the last thing is a lip stick or lip gloss. Um, again, if you don't think you can wear it to school, just apply a chapstick. So this is the chapstick I use. And it's the Carmex in the flavour strawberry, and it's got 30 SPF plus, so yeah, it's really nice. 
Um, if you can wear lipstick, then um, I would just wear a really nude colour. Not so much a makes your lips look so pale, it's not even funny. So yeah, um, I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos, and I love it so much. I barely have any left. So yeah, it's all the way up. Um, it's in the colour Orchid Blossom by Coral Colours, and I often wear this to school. So I'll just put that onto my lips. So that was my everyday school um, sort of look that you can do and I really hope that you guys have found some tips that you can wear to school without being over the top or too dramatic. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment and subscribe. I love you all. Bye everyone.